give us a okay. chance. Okay. Each of you. Right. Yeah. All of you are Baltimoreans. So yeah. that's well, the word. I would say give us a chance. A lot of people underestimate the youth of Baltimore. Um, and I feel like it starts with the perception that people have with us. It's all about having confidence um, in order to go out here and pursue your dreams. Um, but I would just say that it takes someone to step up and support someone in order to see the change. So that's something that I would definitely want the audience to take away. I would like people to stop um, thinking about the wire when they hear Baltimore. <laughs> it gets annoying sometimes, and if you know like Baltimore isn't like that, then you wouldn't want your city to be represented as something drug infested or filled with violence. And I definitely think that this movie gives another look on Baltimore. So when you hear about Baltimore, the next thing that you can think about is step and the positivity that we bring. Um, well, there's two things. One is the innate joy that I find in these young women and their mothers and their families and their homes. Even when things aren't so joyful, they find joy in it. And I think most American cities have that. Even if there are moments that are tough, there is joy. And so that's one thing. And the other thing is, um, a couple months after Sundance, one of our executive producers sent me a link to a YouTube speech a uh, link to a YouTube video that was a speech by Martin Luther King Jr. that was given a few months before he died and I encourage all the young people in this room to um, look for this speech. It's called the Blueprint of Your Life speech and he made it to a group of high junior high students in Philadelphia for a few months before he died and he just simply said to them what is the blueprint of your life? Right now, right in this moment, you have to decide which way your life is going to go. And it's a brilliant speech that I, I, I had not heard of. And at the end, he just simply looks at them and he says, no matter the circumstances of your life, though they may be impossible, stay in school. And I just think that's the message that people should take away. Stay in school, have a plan, work hard at that plan, believe in yourself no matter what happens, keep going. And if people can walk away from that, whether they're young or old, that is would be a big win, I think, for our film and for all of us. Okay, so I'm not from Baltimore, um, but I claim it now. I'm a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker Woo! through and through. Um, <laughs> my people, thank you. Um, what I would say for me is that um, Baltimore, to me, is any city USA. And each and every one of us has a responsibility, and what I want you to take away from this is that you have a responsibility to help someone complete their success plan. We have to do it by any means necessary that's legal and moral, and we need to be unapologetic about how we do it and how we get there, because we deserve it. So, um, thank you. I want everyone else to also to understand that when you're doing that for yourself and for others, you don't have the right not to be excellent, and you don't have the right not to be all that and everything. So you need to be that and share that with somebody else. Um, I'm from Baltimore, and I would say that, you know, I would want the, the conversation about not just Baltimore, but urban communities to change when it comes to um, extracurricular activities and the limits that they put on people from urban communities. These are three separate girls who had three different dreams that are accomplished, and they're still working on it. Even myself going through my own things, and all the adults here, we all have had struggles. So I would rather the conversation be changed about after extracurricular activities and after school programming is so important. And as Ms. Dofa said, just to mentor and pay it forward, take your time out to help someone. And it doesn't have to necessarily be step or dance. It could be karate, it could be computer science, it could be cosmetology, it could be film, it could be anything. But if you pay it forward, you are full inside and you are helping the next generation. And you, get, you can't get anywhere without someone else's help. So you have, like, it's your duty as a citizen to help the next person. And parents, open your minds up to after school activities. Have your children involved with so many different things because it's an outlet. And it keeps them focused. It, the, the proof is in the pudding. It keeps them focused academically. So I would like that conversation to be changed. OK, so guys, tell us again, when does this open nationwide? August 4th. August 4th. <laughs> August 11th in Atlanta. OK. okay. And for more information, is there a website? Yeah, you can follow us on Instagram at Step the Movie. And also, we have this really amazing program. If you go to tickets.stepthemovie.com, or you can take a group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
any questions from the audience?